In this video, we'll learn about forgiving others and what exactly is true forgiveness. True forgiveness doesn't come back to kick you in the teeth. When you learn about forgiveness, it's like giving a gift. You give with no strings attached. People who say that they forgive but will still bring up the past every time shows that they haven't truly forgiven. They might have said that they had forgiven but with zero intent. So, what is true forgiveness? Daisy is a gifted child. However, she mingled with the wrong kids who were into stealing, and because she wasn't very good at it, she was caught. As expected, her parents were angry. After the entire saga, they encouraged her to move on to do better things in life. Verbally, they forgave her. Several years later, her mother was still constantly reminding the child of the things that she did wrong every time when she got mad. Of course, this didn't sit well with Daisy, and she felt terrible every time her mother brought up the past. Furthermore, Daisy found that this stifled her creativity, and that she dreaded going home to her mother because she knew that history would repeat itself. In the end, their relationship turned sour, and things only went from bad to worse. When you truly forgive someone, the past shall remain the past, and shall never be brought up again. Forgiveness gives both you and the person you feel that has wronged you the freedom to move on. However, forgiving doesn't mean forgetting. Daisy actually grew up to be a very forgiving person, learning from the lessons that she had been taught by her mother and embraced with unconditional love. Even though you may remember the event as if it was yesterday, forgiveness means not bringing it up in the future whenever you feel like it. You liberate yourself by learning to let go of blame and starting to embrace compassion. Let me give you an example. John was always bullied by his brother. As he grew up, he had less to do with his brother, but he could see that his brother's life wasn't a very happy one. Instead of holding on to bad feelings, John learned that compassion was a better answer. He approached his brother to see if there was something he could do to help his brother through a bad patch. His brother was astounded that John would even bother with him after all the hell that he had put John through as a child. But when people forgive, it helps them to see things from both sides. You have to remember that people who make your life a misery are usually quite miserable themselves. You have a choice to let go and to forgive or to carry a grudge and live with blame and anger. Both are bad for you because these are negative traits and both diminish who you are. Even if you were technically right in the blame game, deep inside, you won't feel good due to all the negativity and sense of grudge. Forgiveness requires the strength of character rather than weakness. Those who are able to forgive are more likely to live happier lives. In John's case, his brother is now his best friend because he learned from the kid he bullied how to move on and create major successes in his life despite circumstances. John's brother asked him once how he could forgive, and the answer is simple. To love is far better than to hate someone. He didn't despise him or try to prove that he was better than his brother, but he demonstrated that when you forgive, you become a happier and more fulfilled human being. There is no better example than John himself. There are so many things that people are unable to forgive from their childhood till death starts knocking on their door. That intangible burden that they carry with them their entire lives will diminish their ability to experience true happiness and fulfillment. This places a heavy burden not only on them, but also on people around them. Forgiveness allows you to lift that burden and see life from a different perspective. No matter what childhood offered or left in its tracks, forgiveness and acceptance of life is a healthier way to go and makes you less bitter. That bitterness tarnishes everything that you do and each interaction you have with others until you decide to let it go. Remember that it's our responsibility to make the world a better place. Believe me, once you experience letting go, you will never go back to the bitterness again because the choice is so much sweeter. 
It makes you feel like you have unladen a huge load when you feel that way for the first time. You will be shocked at how easy it is. It, it's not even about pride. It's about saying sorry and moving on in your life to start over with new hopes and dreams. True forgiveness is when you can look inside and see no hatred, negativity, or any strings attached to past bitter experiences. You begin to see the good in you that isn't being vain or narcissistic. You'll be freed from the burden of all the bad things that happened. And that truly is a gift that only those who are prepared to look beyond remorse and anger will experience. That, my friend, is the freedom in forgiveness. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.